Hello, my name is Rachel Laddow, coming to you live from Smith College's newsroom. We interrupt this four-hour-long Smith & Poofs concert to bring you breaking news. Reports have been coming in via social media that a large snow creature may have been spotted on Smith's campus. Due to the unconfirmed nature of these reports, we have been hesitant to indulge the rumors, but we recently received some footage from an anonymous source that we want to share with the Smith community. Oh my fucking god, what is that? Oh my fucking god, what is that? The footage was taken between the hours of 10 and 11 at night in the forested area across from the Paradise Road quadrangle. Our anonymous source emailed us this footage and said the following. I'm not sure if anybody will take this seriously, but I know what I saw and I need to help keep the rest of Smith safe. We sent the footage to President McCartney early this morning and have yet to receive a response. We also sent it to Smith biology professor Hardcastle McCormick for analysis. Professor McCormick, what are your thoughts? Well, this is unlike anything I've ever seen in my 50 years of research. We're clearly looking at a bipedal humanoid organism of some sort. However, it's far too large to be human, and that's what concerns me. Look at the way it moves, its thumping gait and dragging limbs. This is something we would expect to see in a Neanderthal, but certainly not a human of the 21st century, which is what leads me to believe that what we are looking at is in fact not human. And we're curious to know, Professor, why the creature appears to be entirely white and most comfortable in snowy environments. On social media, this has led some students to call it a snow monster. Well, their instincts aren't wrong. This creature does appear to prefer snowy environments, and with Northampton winters becoming colder than ever over the past five years or so, I don't think it's outlandish to assume that we might be dealing with a creature who has independently evolved to live in snow-heavy conditions. Professor McCormick mocked up an image of what he believes the monster might look like up close. As you can see, it has developed fur that would shield from even one of our harshest winter nights. Until the presence of this creature has been 100% confirmed, we cannot make any conjectures about its biological makeup, but this is the evidence we have collected so far. This just in, President McCartney has issued a campus-wide email about the purported creature and ruffled some feathers in the process. The email reads as follows, quote, Dear students, faculty, and staff, there is no such thing as a snow creature. There never has been and never will be. Please stop investigating the presence, or rather lack thereof, of such a thing on the Smith College campus. I know critics may accuse me of crafting a conspiracy by issuing this email, so I would like to take this opportunity to express, passionately, that I am not. There is no snow creature, and there is certainly no conspiracy at work. Sincerely, President Kathleen McCartney. Since the issuing of the email, we have observed some student dissent on Twitter and Facebook. We will keep you updated on this now controversial story as it develops. For all of us here at Smith News, I'm Rachel Laddow. Thanks for tuning in, and please enjoy the rest of the Smith & Poof's performance. Stay safe and have a pleasant afternoon.